Leslyn Keith. I'm an occupational therapist, and I've been a certified lymphedema therapist for over 20 years. Thank you for your interest in Lymphatic Lifestyle Solutions online course for people who have lymphedema or other lymphatic disorders and need help with weight management. I'm so excited today to be able to share with you some information about the research that substantiates why using a ketogenic diet to help you manage not only your weight, but your lymphedema or other lymphatic disorder is going to help. So I'd like to share with you some things that we've been doing that, that some recent research and some things that we found out. Let me just pull this up here for you to show you. So this is my own research. In 2015, I conducted a study with a group of my patients, my past patients who had lymphedema and also were obese. And so um, I recruited them for my practice after they had already had a round of, of complete decongestive therapy and sought to see if they would like to join a lifestyle group that promoted a ketogenic diet. And so this is what we had. We had, after 12 weeks, this program, exactly what you're, you're gonna, interested in doing, the Lymphatic Lifestyle Solutions course, this is the results that, that were had. So in that group of 12 participants, we had an average of a little over 11 pounds lost. Um, the BMI went down by two points. Um, 3.75 centimeters reduction in the waist. That's um, almost an inch and a half. Percent body fat uh, went down by um, a little over 1%. Limb volume went down the lymphatic, um, uh, the uh, lymph, a lymphedema life impact scale study, quality of life and improvement in quality of life. So a decreased impact of, of lymphedema on their life went down by 12 points. And a couple other um, um, measures, the obesity and weight loss quality of life measures and the WRSM, that is the uh, weight related symptoms measure, as well as a couple of occupational therapy measures all had significant improvement. You can see those results in red, all significant. The one that wasn't significant was percent body weight uh, percent body fat did um, did not reduce significantly, but that's only because not everybody who participated in the study used a ketogenic diet. So let's look at what happened in the two groups. So you can see there we, in two groups we have, I let the people choose who wanted to use a ketogenic diet and who didn't. And so um, the top line in red, those are participants who um, did not use the diet and there was four of them. Um, and uh, of the people who completed the study, we had another six who chose to use the diet. And so we w measured their weight five times during the, the course of the study. We measured it two weeks apart for three times before we started the group, the Lymphatic Lifestyle Solutions group. And so we wanted just to see that their weight was stable. So you can see across the top there with the red line, pretty stable weight, average weight of around 259 to 260. And then when they um, participated in the group, they had an average weight loss of about 1.36 pounds. And so here is when the intervention started, that's when the intervention ended. And then we had a follow-up 30 days later. And so they actually gained a little weight after uh, 30 days after the study was over. And then here is the, the people in blue, the people who used a ketogenic diet, very stable weight. They had a lower starting baseline weight average of about 222 pounds. And then, so here's where the intervention started. We had the 12 sessions of the group. Here's where it ended and then 30 days later. And so they had actually over 18 pounds average weight loss, and that was 8% of their baseline weight, which we know anything over 6% has um, very important health impacts. And so because it was such a small group, 10 people who finished the group, who did the whole thing, then I wanna show you their individual results. And so this is their weight loss for each participant. And in blue, again, that's the people who used the ketogenic diet. And you can see that there was four people who lost over 19 pounds um, in the, um, the 12 session group. And then when you look at the non-ketogenic diet group in red, you see that the most loss was three and a half pounds and one person actually gained almost a pound. And then what happened to their lymphedema? 
this was amazing. Such a, a high correlation between weight loss and um, the reduction in the size of the lymphedema limb. In, in this case, there were arms and legs that were at this group. And so four out of the six lost over 1,100 milliliters, which is significant. And then in the uh, non-ketogenic diet group in red, we had one person who actually did not lose much weight, but he lost in limb volume. And the other people um, uh, lost very little, or actually you can see the two people even increased in size. And what is the reason? And, and this is because I believe that carbs are inflammatory to the lymphatic system. This is um, one study I wanted to show you that we had, um, it was an animal study uh, done in 2012, and they wanted to induce metabolic syndrome in mice. And how did they decide to induce metabolic syndrome? Um, they gave them a high fructose diet. And so with this high fructose diet, then they wanted to see what was, they got metabolic syndrome from that. And then what was the impact on the lymphatic system? Well, if you look on the right-hand column there, the mice that have the high fructose diet, they, um, th that's the inside of their lymphatic vessel. See how swollen it is. And you look at the control diet, not a high fructose diet, probably not a super low carbohydrate diet either, but at least not super high fructose. And you can see that the inside is not nearly as inflamed or swollen. And so um, it, what the researchers found that those um, animals on the high fructose diet had as much as a 50% reduction in their transport capacity. So carbohydrates are inflammatory to the lymphatic system. How does this translate to humans? Well, this was a really interesting study that was done. It was a, a randomized controlled trial, much better than my little study where it was just a pilot study and we didn't have any controls. They were the people, the participants were controls against themselves. How did they start out? How did they end up? But in this group, they had, um, they had a control group and those women, breast cancer survivors that had lymphedema, those women in that control group all they were given was a compression sleeve, no other treatment. And then they had the, the other uh, groups for women, breast cancer survivors with lymphedema. And one, um, you see here, they, had a, they did exercise and they wore a compression sleeve. And then here's our two weight loss groups. This group had, had used a special weight loss diet. And these people used a weight loss diet, exercise and a compression sleeve. And how did it go for all of these, um, these women? And so um, first, let me tell you, what was the weight loss diet? It was Nutrisystem. And so they used a low um, fat, low calorie diet supplemented with these Nutrisystem shakes. And so the Nutrisystem shakes, very high in fructose. So this, the interesting results were that, that um, all these women lost weight. In the weight loss groups, they lost weight but their limb volume did not go down. And every other study with lymphedema and weight loss, whenever they lost, to, uh, lost weight, and sometimes as little as seven pounds, it caused the limb that had lymphedema to also get smaller, but not in this group. And I would suggest to you that that is because they were using a high fructose diet that inflamed their lymphatic system and reduce the transport capacity. Very, very interesting on what, you know, what can happen when you are um, having lots of carbohydrates. What we're promoting in the Lymphatic Lifestyle Solutions course is restricting carbohydrates, but it's more than that. And the other thing is fat. Healthy fats are good for the lymphatic system. And there's been a lot about, you know, that people should eat a low fat diet and that um, maybe that's the, that high fat diet is not good for the lymphatic system. Again, here is an animal study, um, actually a couple of them. And what they found is that it was obesity that impaired lymphatic flow, but not a high fat diet. And, um, and specifically lymphatic endothelial cells, those are the cells that make up the vessel walls that make up those those um, tubes that carry your, your lymph out of your limbs, they preferentially prefer to use ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are a metabolite of dietary fat. When you eat dietary fat, you make ketone bodies. And even if there's sugar available, even if there's glucose available, 
our lymphatic cells prefer to use ketone bodies. So this was telling me that even if you don't have weight to lose, your lymphatic system runs better if we're giving it good healthy fat. But we do have a randomized controlled trial that is going to be done on people. It's not just, we don't have to rely just on, on animal studies. And so this is a study that's already started. It's already um, uh, in progress and it's gonna be going through next year, uh, 2023 and our 2022 is, is when it should finish. And um, we actually had the preliminary results were reported at a conference we did about the ketogenic diet and lymphatic disorders. And the researchers presented their preliminary results. It's very promising. They had a very good impact on whether or not the person lost weight, their lymphedema went down by using a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet. So I hope this helped show you how this is going to be a safe and effective diet. Research is showing that this is gonna be the best way to go. We look forward to helping you in our Lymphatic Lifestyle Solutions course. Thanks, bye-bye.